decoders are also very useful um, digital building blocks that we're going to use in, in many circuits. So a decoder takes n inputs and produces two to the n outputs. So we specify the size of our decoder as the number of inputs and the number of outputs. So this is called a two to four decoder, this symbol here, because it has two inputs and four outputs. And only one output will be high at once. So we call this one hot outputs, or in other words, one high output at any given time. So if the inputs are 0, 0, the Y0 output is true, and only that output. If the inputs are 0, 1, the Y1 output is true. If the inputs are 1, 0, Y2 is true, and only Y2. And if the inputs are um, A1 to A0, and A0 are both 1, then the output is uh, 1 the output y3 is one and only that output and so you can see this basically decodes the binary value right this is zero one two and three so y3 is true when the input combination is three y2 is true when the input combination is two y1 is true when the input combination is one and y0 is true when the input combination is zero and so you may notice that these are actually producing the min term. So y0 is equal to, well, a1 bar and a0 bar. y1 is equal to a1 bar and a0. So these are, this is a1 and a0, y3, y2 is a1 and, uh, here we go, y2, a1 and a0 bar. Y1 is a1 bar and a0, and Y0 is a1 bar and a0 bar. And so how do we implement decoders? Well, you know, we just basically did it in that last, in that last slide where we showed that each of the outputs is actually a min term. And so here we go. Y3 is again a1 and a0, y2 is a1 and a0 bar, y1 is a0 bar and a, a1 bar and a0, and y0 is a1 bar and a0 bar. And so because these are producing these outputs, um, you know, y3, y2, y1, and y0 are producing these min terms, we can use them um, easily to produce logic if we just add an OR gate. And we just OR together the min terms we want. For example, the XNOR function written in summer products form like this and written, you know, in uh, using the XOR and then a symbol and a, and a bar, we can just grab the min terms that we need. Well, we need A and B, which is Y3, or a bar b bar which is y0 and we could change the the function that we want let's say we wanted instead of x nor we wanted to do x or okay well now we're going to grab y2 and y1 a b bar or a bar b so now we've changed the function just by which outputs we grab from the decoder